Captain Happy show starring me, Captain Happy. Let me get out my magic mirror. I see Bobby. I see Susie. I see Billy. Hey guys, Marty D, May 26, 2019. You know, there's a lot of underhanded, uh, under behind the scenes kind of stuff with the Oroville Dam, and everybody knows that. And we all know that the DWR has been dishonest and everything. And I mean, who hasn't in their lifetime? I guess everybody's told a lie, even George Washington, you know. But uh, when it comes down to it, when people's lives are, you know, at stake, you know, it's more than a cherry tree. And you really got to realize uh, who's pulling the strings on, you know, this whole situation and who's in charge and who's who's the behind the scenes in charge. And, you know, we get we get message drops from some pretty reliable sources. And, you know, a lot of times it's real deep state stuff that I don't want to bring out to you guys because, you know, like I said before, I, I'm just trying to bring you the news. I'm not trying to get killed or anything. So, you know, but this most recent message that was just sent to me along with these pictures are really, really relevant to what's going on right now. You know, they drove those really heavy trucks over the top of the dam for quite a while in fact there somebody even got a court order to get them to uh, stop doing that but you can see now where the dam is actually starting to uh, ripple or buckle or whatever the the term is for it I'm sure when you experts out there can leave a comment but um, anyway this is really really worrisome plus this whole thing with the gates and if you look at these close-up pictures of what's going on down at the gates man there's some muck down there and some stuff that you just gotta wonder like where the hell did this stuff come from i mean this is this stuff doesn't even look human uh and there, there's huge stains on the spillway now last time there was little stains on there it took them half the day just to try to scrape it off with a shovel and use a broom to try to get that off The dam appears to be slumping very slowly over time. Look at the photos that are at Weary One's Twitter page. The top of the dam is beginning to visibly crumble, as seen from the lakeside. The DWR has really cut back on the Hyatt power planet throughput. There may be issues inside the dam, if the dam shifts even a little. They can't run the Pentatox and risk a high volume, high pressure water leak deep inside the dam. If the Pentatox or river water outlet valves rupture it's all over. They can't use the main spillway. They are cutting way back on the Hyatt power plant. The top of the dam is crumbling. The spillway hillside is unstable. And the water keeps going a little higher every day. The way things are going, it's only a matter of time. Mere days or a few weeks until something drastic happens. Anyway, um, yeah, it's 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 not looking good, especially when we're getting drops of information from, you know, qualified people who, you know, they'll remain anonymous, and and that's the way that goes. You know, we got our data, and if we have to keep someone's uh, anonymity safe or whatever, we'll do it. You know, we don't give a crap if, you know, you're saying, well, just show us the data. It's like, well, just go blow a goat. <laughs> I mean, when you do that, I'll give you the data. You just send it to me on video cam, and I'll. I'll freaking, I'll send it right over to you. Anyway, so hey, Memorial Day, you know, is coming up here, what, tomorrow? And uh, it's going to be an awesome day. So I hope you guys all be safe and watch out. We got incoming storms here in Northern California. I know there's a lot of you conspiracy people out there that are going to hop right on this. And then there's going to be a lot of debunkers that are going to hop on it too. But so have fun with all that bunking and debunking. And while you're doing that, we're going to be having a great weekend. And God bless you guys and rock on.